What's up everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Gage Edwards from Waste360.com. Back again with the top stories as seen on Waste360.com from this last week. Right now we're in the midst of earning reports and a few have made our list this week. Plus there's an interview with one of our 40 under 40 award winners. So let's check out those top stories now. Number five, stakeholders gear up on global treaty to cut plastic pollution. At the current rate, plastic pollution would almost triple by 2060 with half of it landfilled according to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. That's a lot of plastic. Number four, Clean Harbor's revenue increases in Q2 2023 on environmental services segment growth. Clean Harbors announced solid Q2 2023 results on favorable pricing, growth in service businesses, and demand growth for disposable and recycling. Those earning reports are flowing in. Number three, Republic Services sees double-digit net income growth in Q2 2023. Republic Services reported double-digit growth in Q2 2023, pacing ahead of inflation and boosting organic growth. The Phoenix-based company published its earnings showing net income of $427.4 million in Q2 2023, up from $371 million last year. More earnings! Number two, wastewater treatment plants leverage infrastructure to drive down emissions. Wastewater treatment generates about 20 million metric tons of CO2 equivalent in the U.S every year. A few water utilities are offsetting some of those emissions by leveraging their existing infrastructure to turn food waste that would otherwise be landfilled into renewable natural gas. And our top story of the week, staying in the loop. Kevin Green of Waste Connections on leadership in the waste industry. Kevin Green is a leader both in the office and out in the field with his team on the front lines of the waste industry, making sure to stay in the loop of every aspect of his company and putting a face on the hard work he does. And that hard work has paid off professionally inside and out of Waste Connections by earning himself one of Waste 360's 40 under 40 awards. Be sure to check out this interview. And those were our top stories as seen on Waste360.com for this past week. You can find out all about these stories and more on Waste360.com. Also, be sure to follow us on all social networks for more of the top headlines in the waste industry. As always, until next time, have a good day.